Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Alfon Zeti and today I am going to make a video about C programming. This video will be very basic. Uh, I will only be talking about the, some of the basic ideas about C programming in this video. As well as uh, as well as how to set up the C programming applications in your computer. Uh, so let's start the basics. So to, uh, first of all, I will start with the theory. So first of all, I will start with the introduction. In the introduction, I will be talking about C programming. So C programming is a high-level programming language. C programming is a full-form, strictly type, compiled and procedure-oriented programming language. Uh, it is a procedure-oriented programming language because it uh, balances the procedure uh, uh, much more than the data. C programming is known as freeform because we can uh, write it freely with uh, with any amount of tabs and uh, spaces. Uh, uh, many people also call C programming as middle level language because it can perform tasks of both uh, C pro both high level language and assembly level language or low level language. Uh, it is a, it can perform the size of low level language such as it can be used to find the size of the size of variables. Now as for the history, it was uh, invented in 1972 by uh, Dennis Ritchie at Bell Labs. C programming is an algorithm priority based language. Now let's talk uh, talk about the importance of C level language. Because uh, many of us know that there are many popular languages su such as Python, Java, Dart in our language in our daily life. But uh, why should we use the C programming language? So the answer is because uh, it has many importance such as such as data type variables and uh, many other things uh, in the C programming are all as same as uh, is the same as uh, other languages uh, because uh, all of the because all of the languages have the same keywords so she can be told as uh, she can be called as a mother of all languages because it was a uh, developer early developed earlier than other languages other modern languages so why should we learn the c program language the most important of c programming language is uh, because because it helps in you learning other types of languages uh, because many of the core functions are same in uh, all of the languages so C program language is the most important if you want to learn any of the languages so let's talk about how to um, do the setup out for the C programming languages so let's start with step number one first application to run the C programming language is dev C++ so let me go to the um, go to my browser you can uh, go to any browser and search for Dev C++ download and you can see many of the links so you can just go to any of the link and download it so I am just going to download it uh, let me skip the parts of the download so let me fast forward this the exe file has been downloaded now let me open this file uh, I am using uh, the laptop with hard disk, so it is uh, causing some problems. Uh, let's wait for some time. Let's start the installation program. Uh, so let me open. You just have to click the I agree button. Uh, I am just scrolling it for the time pass. So it is not necessary that you have to read every line. Just press the next button. Uh, and uh, you can just choose any of the folder or just uh, save in C folder if you have uh, much, much, much more space in the C drive but uh, I don't have much space in the C drive so I will be using E drive uh, and I am using of uh, using addix so it causes me lags so let me fast forward from this time because it, because it takes, it takes too long time so let me fast forward it. Okay, installation has been completed. Uh, now let me start the program, and I will be showing you the basic program of Hello World. 
sorry i will not be showing you the hello world i will be showing you hello universe i am upgrading hello universe from the universe so let me open the program uh, i have already told i am using the hard disk so it may cause me a little problem so let me start the program i have to cancel this let's just minimize this so i can show you the setup of other programs programs later so let me open the app it is uh, lagging so let me just open. now just uh, we have to set up this for the first time we just have to press next next i am just changing the theme uh, it is a uh, it doesn't say that you have to change the theme or anything you just have to open the folder let me type the type of file uh, first of all i will be increasing the size of the character because it's just too much small to be seen in the video so getting fully concentrated on the writing pro on writing the program uh, so i'll be not streaming for some time okay This is our basic program of Hello Universe. So, first of all, I need to compile this program to run. Uh, I have uh, told you at the first time in the introduction that C program is a compiled language. So, this is the meaning of a compiled language. And the meaning of uh, and the meaning of preform is I can just give any form of uh, space in any place. So, it doesn't cause any program in the program. So you can see this. I have run the program and the result was hello universe. So let me stop this program. Now without delay, let's start with a uh, step setup uh, setup number two. So setup number two includes a program known as BS Code. So many of the people should know about the BS Code. BS Code is a professional tool that is used to create apps and that you use in daily life. So to download BS Code, you just have to go to the, your browser and search for bs code download and just uh, you have to download that for your window okay there are many of the types of bs codes so i think it may take some time to load oh. it is loaded so you can see that there are three types of bs code for different architecture so you you have to download the bs code for windows after you have downloaded the window for windows you have to do a lot of setup in bs code so I'll not be I'll not do BS code setup in this uh, video because uh, if I do the BS code setup in this video, it, this video will become too long that that it will be too much messy. So without delay, let's start with setup number three. So third number setup is our portable DevC++. Many of you should know about portable apps. If you don't know, it are the they are the apps which are in your pen drives, USB drives, or you can call them flash drives. This can be accessed from any of the computers just by inserting your flash drive in its USB port. So you have you have to just search for the portable portable DevC++ uh, in your browser. And after searching this, the first pro, first link will be the right link. So you just have to go to the link and download the program. And you just have to um, extract the file in your USB to convert it into a portable uh, DevC++ file. So now let's go for the fourth setup which is for the Android users. 
uh, for android users you just have to download the apps from play store or app store or i think it is also available in app store for ios uh, users because i haven't tried it in i tried it in ios so i don't know much about it so let me show you the program for android uh, so you, the name of the program is coding coding c uh, so i just have to i am just searching it on app store because i because i also wanted to see if it is available in app store or not uh, so let's wait for a time why it is uh, taking so much time i think there is something about called c programming in a app store but for play store there is the application coding c which is offline and you can you can use it very easily so thank you for watching the video and like and subscribe for uh, the same videos at this and don't forget to subscribe the video to see the coding videos uh, in next uh, video uh, in next videos there will be coding sessions bye bye